Hey guys and girls, uh, welcome back to another example video. Uh, this is example 11, and uh, this is more of an intro to the library CMath. And uh, as you can see, it's really short, so I thought I'd just save us some time and uh, just write up all these things and uh, uh, from the beginning, and then just explain some stuff really quickly. Uh, because we'll be using this library in the future, in example, so you might as well know. So this you can write as CMath in that way, or you can write it as math.h. And older C libraries from the older language uh, have been ported over, so that's why these old ones have been made into a different format. But uh, anywho, this both, these two are the same thing. Uh, I like writing it like that because it's easier. Um, so yeah, there you go. And there's a lot more functions in here that you can use if you're better at math than I am because I frankly am really bad and really like I need to brush up my math. But uh, these ones I understand. So you have the power, the power of uh, square root, ceiling, floor. These two are that you kind of um, round down the number, round down the number, round up the number. Absolute value of something to make it positive. Uh, cosine, sine, tangents, uh, arc, cos, ac, whatever, you know, all these things, right? Um, for your angles and stuff. And logarithms are in here as well, and stuff like that you can use. But let's see. Okay, so what I did here was I took the power of uh, 2 to the power of 4. Okay, so you write your 2 here, your base and your exponent. All right, square root, your number in here. Uh, the ceiling of 1.5 and the floor of 1.5. We'll see the difference as we'll print them out. The absolute value of minus 12. And this is how you calculate because cosine and all these things are in radians. All right, if you want your angle here, okay. If you want to convert your angle into radians, you got to do this. All right, so by doing this, cosine for the angle 0 is, of course, as you should know, uh, 1. Yeah, 1. And sine for the angle 0 is 0, right? Uh, cosine for the angle 90 is 0. Sine for the angle 90 is 1, and so on. If you know this, if you remember the circle, uh, the radian circle thing. Um, so yeah, yeah, there you go. Let's just run this and see what happens. So, let's see. 2 to the power of 4 is 16. Square root of 24, 25 is 5. Ceiling of 1.5 is 2. Ceiling of 1.5 is, or floor of 1.5 is 1. Absolute value of minus 12 is 12. And, just as we guessed, the cosine for the angle 0 is 1. So, this little example program worked. Everything's fine. Uh, I hope you learned something and just, you know, just an intro to this uh, beautiful, easy, useful library here. And, uh, yeah, so, hope you learned something, hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.